Today I'm heading for Cumbria in the northwest of England to go and visit the Lake District, renowned for some of the most beautiful, iconic natural scenery in the whole of the UK. So if you've ever thought about visiting the Lake District and would like to have a small insight into what you could expect to see or do when you get there, then keep watching. Most people I know have got a bucket list. Now, if you don't know what a bucket list is, basically it's a list of things, of places you'd like to go, things you'd like to do, places you'd like to visit. There could be some fantasy things on there as well. I mean, when I was a teenager, along with probably about 10,000 other teenagers, I had Blondie on my bucket list. Oi, saw your hearing aid out. I said bucket list. So yeah, that basically is what a bucket list is. And today, my bucket list has got the Lake District on it. Now that's a box I've always wanted to tick, and I've always wanted to visit the Lake District because I've heard a lot about it, a lot of beautiful things about it. And so today, I've jumped into my car, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take a trip up to Cumbria and visit the Lake District. Hello, my lovelies. Well, for whatever reasons, today I woke up and I thought to myself, do you know what? I fancy going to the Lake District. So here I am, I've driven to the Lake District. I'm actually in uh, a place called Windymere and I've uh, stopped off at a little pub called the Crafty, Crafty Bar that sits behind me. Lovely little boozer and uh, grabbed myself a lovely pint as well. And what this video is about, I ain't got a clue yet, but I'm gonna make something up as I go along and find a good reason as to why to make this video. If not, just follow me and carry on regardless. Keep watching. Welcome to the Lake District. First pub. That's interesting. So apparently I'm in the smallest pub in the Lake District. Look at that. What a good choice. First pub I've called into. Smallest pub in the Lake District. Look at this. Don't see that very often. I think that's got to be a got to be a Steiner, isn't it? Those glasses. What a lovely bar. Yeah, the toilets are where that sign says toilets behind the bar. That big, that big sign that says toilets behind the bar. First impressions, this place is growing on me very fast. What a lovely little boozer. And I'll tell you what, if I was staying a little bit longer than one night, I'll probably be settling in and heading off on a pub call tonight. But onwards and upwards, I'm off to try and check into my hotel. I've decided to book into a hotel called the Daffodil of all things, but it's a beautiful five-star hotel right on the lake. So yeah, let's go and check this place out. Morning. So this is not my room. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's that one. Yeah. Bathroom. Nice, nice size. Sink. Yeah. Oh, look at that for a view. How about that? view from the bedroom.
Well, so far I've made it to the Grassmere Brewery, which is another pub. I asked for a pint of cider, because that's what I drink, and they said uh, we've got two types. We've got one type, which is that type, then we've got this other one, which is called Imperial Cider, but we can only serve it in half pint glasses. I don't do halves. I said, well, can I have two half pints and pour them into a pint glass? And they said, yeah, that's all right, because it is eight, I don't know, 8% or something like that. Imperial Cider. This could be the last you see of me until the morning. But hey ho, carry on regardless. Oh. <laughs> that is strong, real strong. Maybe I should have got a half. If it's country pub stuck out in the middle of nowhere with nothing but scenic views and mountains surrounding them, then you will not be disappointed. There certainly is plenty of them dotted about. Right now, I'm out to catch bigger fish. I'm heading to a little restaurant that's been recommended to me called Yan. And what I'm gonna try is their shepherd's pie because I've heard Northerners make their shepherd's pie different to us Southerners. Um, they don't use minced meat. It's gonna be I have to say, I've just had some of that imperial cider. Probably one of the best pints of cider I've had in a long time. Well, I'm going for dinner now. And a uh, little place called Yan, a little restaurant place called Yan, set in the hillside. This could be interesting. What's that? Lamb, lamb rum. Lamb leg. It's not cooked lamb, lamb leg. leg. Lamb leg. Yeah. And this is shepherd's pie, not cottage pie, because it's made with sheep. Thing here, isn't it? Camel curry. Camel curry. I'll tell you what, that looks absolutely inviting. <laughs> Shepherd's pie, actually, because it's sheep. It's hot. Do you know what? It's not minced meat, but it's good. It's real good. It's real good. It's actually more like meat rather than minced meat. Mm. One for the book. As some of you may have noticed, yes, I was a little bit too non compass mentors to make any sensible video of that lovely little restaurant or of some of that lovely food. I ended up having the shepherd's pie, though, as far as I remember, and it was made with strips of lamb as opposed to minced lamb. But that having been said, it was still a lovely shepherd's pie. And moving on gracefully, I decided to head back to the hotel bar, have myself a couple of pints, and then get an early night as I wanted to get up in the morning, check out the hotel breakfast, and then go for a little walk around this lovely lake. Well, it's going to be quite a big walk, actually, because it's quite a big lake. Not only go for a walk around the lake, but also check out some of this beautiful countryside. Finally, I get a chance to say something that I hardly ever say. In fact, I don't think I've ever said it before. The breakfast at the Daffodil Hotel, this breakfast buffet, is absolutely spot on. Great sausages, great bacon, fried eggs, fine selection, all well cooked. And yeah, marvellous, the perfect cure for a hangover. Anyway, moving on gracefully, I have decided to take a walk around this lovely lake, check out some of the beautiful scenery around here, and also go visit a small little village just close by. And then after that, make my merry way back to sunny London. 